And anyway, joining us with reaction, former acting director of national intelligence, Rick Grinnell, former White House chief of staff, Reince Priebus, Congressman Matt Gates. Um, first, Reince, I know you, you prefer when the president stays centered and focused. I felt like he did all of that tonight and exposed not only the left-wing agenda of Joe, but the corruption of Joe and the 47 years of what did you do, Joe? Those are big themes tonight. Yeah, big time, uh, Sean. Um, first of all, you're right. He, he, he executed the game plan, number one. He was presidential. Uh, number two, he, he let Joe Biden speak and he let him, he, he hung himself and then he pivoted back to Joe Biden time and time again. You know what he hung himself? You, you talked about it a lot tonight, but nothing was bigger than talking about ending energy and, and uh, jobs in Pennsylvania and Ohio. And let me put a finer point on it. Don, Bongino talked about it earlier. This race, think about this. It, it is true that there are not a lot of undecideds out there, but this race could literally come down to 200 votes in federal court in Pennsylvania with 20 electoral votes and that fracking answer, the, the, what, what Joe Biden believes in, could have hung him out to dry, all because President Trump let him hang himself. The other place that I think no one's talking about, Joe Biden's not credible on coronavirus. He's not credible. He, 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 he criticized the president on China. He and his people told the president he was overreacting. And what did Joe Biden say when the president asked him tonight, well, what would your plan be? You know what he said? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we social distance at restaurants and maybe we'll put up some plexiglass at grocery stores? Guess what? We are doing that today, Joe. Wake up. It's he, happening. He, he, it's, I, I don't know where Joe, Joe Biden has been sleeping in his basement too long, but he also lied about what he <laughs> said about he? the travel ban. Matt Gates, your overall impressions. I hope Joe Biden has his dental records on file. That way we can at least identify the body after this debate. Joe Biden became the candidate of locking America down, not opening America up. He was the candidate of Wall Street donations, not Main Street success for our small businesses. He was for payments to illegal aliens, not calling for payments to our fellow Americans, bridging to that transition to greatness following the coronavirus. But most importantly, Joe Biden was the defender of a corrupt status quo. He can never take on a corrupt status quo because his family has financially benefited from it. And a searing moment in the debate came when Joe Biden said that the country needed to look to him for morality and integrity and truth. And the president, very matter of factly, said, well, if your family's getting a $3.5 million payoff, if there's all these emails saying that you're financially benefiting from your access as the vice president of the United States, you're not really the, the guy to preach to the rest of us about morality. And when Biden said, well, I couldn't get anything done in the last eight years because I had a Republican Congress. President Trump had a Congress that impeached him, and yet he still rescued the economy, rebuilt our military, created rising wages and lasting peace in area of the world that areas of the world that haven't known it for generations. That's pretty good for four years. I can't wait for the next four after this debate. Uh, uh, eliminating oil and gas and fracking. Wow, I don't. That is not going to fly. Rick Rennell, I, I got to give Kimberly Strassel, who's a great writer for the Wall Street Journal, summarize what we learned from the text messages of Tony. Uh, Bobolinsky today. I want to get your take on this because this is Wally's vice president. This is this is not an issue in dispute at any at, at this point now. Burisma, zero experience hunter, got millions. He got wire transfers with Kazakh oligarchs, the Russian oligarch, shopping sprees with Chinese nationals, a one point five billion dollar deal with China. That all happened. And he has no experience. Yeah, and look, I think all these Biden emails are actually out in the public. The public is reading these. Tonight, you know, we love politics. We can sit around and talk about politics. But tonight was really about the American people because remember that during debates, you have tens of millions of Americans looking at the candidates for the first time in many, in many ways. And so uh, what I loved about tonight, uh, Donald Trump was you know the outsider this is how he wins this is who he is and what he was able to do tonight is really demonstrate that he's the outsider and joe biden is the ultimate insider i was uh spent the last couple of days in the midwest campaigning and this is the message that i hear constantly i spoke to the president this morning i saw him after the debate and he loves 
fighting as the outsider. And when he's able to articulate that Joe Biden has been around for 47 years and he is not a politician, this is the argument that works with the American people. They see it, they hear it, they like it, and they understand it because it's very simple. It's not all this political stuff. All right. Rick Grinnell, Ryan's Priebus, Matt Gates. By the way, Matt's new book is out. Uh, bookstores everywhere. More Hannity next.